So how can we learn to live as wide awake people, as Easter people? Wrote English New Testament scholar N.T. Wright in his book, Surprised by Hope. He pleads for people as a church and as individuals to live what they profess. Together, we journey from Ash Wednesday to the celebration of Easter Sunday. We embarked on a journey, a time of reflection and repentance that brought us to Easter weekend, where we find hope in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Today, I want to go back even further. You may be wondering why pastoral intern Keith is sitting in a pew in the back of the sanctuary. I wanted to venture back to the Sunday I first visited this church. I sat right in this very spot. I was at the point in my seminary education where I had to choose a church for my field education internship placement. And if I could see myself in this church. So I visited, sat in this very spot, and just listened to what the service was about to be. I have to admit, I did not know what to expect a church led by two female pastors. I did not know what to expect would happen. Because in my tradition, female pastors are not evident. So I just did not know what to expect, but I was pleasantly surprised when I visited this church. After talking with Pastor Erica before leaving, we talked about why I had visited and to see if we could schedule a meeting to talk about a future internship. The meeting would also give an idea if the church was a right fit for me. As you can see, it was the right fit for me, and the journey has been extremely encouraging to me, and it has been a joy to be a part of Butchel Park Baptist Church. Since September, I have been asked to do many different things. I have taught the youth, preached a couple times, fixing up signs to put in the yard, to teaching an adult Bible study on Zoom. This church and its individual members are in the words of N.T. Wright, living what they profess. This church is not just an Easter Sunday church. You all live as Easter people all year long. You find time and energy to take things up and to do kingdom work. It's already April 26th, and my journey is almost over. However, I wanted to encourage those who are listening today from the first letter of Peter, chapter 1, verses 17 to 25. The letter of 1 Peter is thoroughly filled with Christ, and how those who follow Christ ought to live like Him, and how His death and resurrection give us faith and hope in God. While looking at this text from Peter and reading the words of the author, I see Butchel Park Baptist Church. On the journey with you, I notice that this church loves Jesus, loves each other, and loves to proclaim good news. These three qualities are seen in the text. First, Butchel Park loves Jesus because you all understand that you were bought with the precious blood of Christ. It's seen in all ministries of the church, from the top down. Jesus is important, and knowing that you and I are bought with the precious blood of Christ, and that God raised him from the dead, we are filled with hope and faith that God is in control. In times like these, where we are isolated from each other, We need to be reminded that Christ's death and resurrection, which we celebrated two weeks ago, gives new life and new energy to keep going. I was reminded of a Fanny Crosby hymn. The first verse goes like this. Redeemed, how I love to proclaim it. Redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Redeemed through His infinite mercy, His child and forever I am. Secondly, Butchel Park loves each other. Because the truth of Jesus is accepted and taught as truth here at the church, people are being transformed. Minds are being renewed, and as 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 22 and 23 state, having purified your souls by your obedience to the truth for a sincere brotherly love, 
love one another earnestly from a pure heart, since you have been born again. I have witnessed this from day one of my journey here as an intern. This church, the people of this church body, you are truly, you have love one for another. You love each other. It's evident in all that you do and say. The love is spilled out into the community as well. Lives are being transformed and changed because of the love you all have for each other. Lastly, Butchel Park loves to proclaim good news. Messages of hope are being taught throughout the week. Parents Day Out program, adult Sunday school, youth meetings, godly play, deacon prayer meetings, Bible studies during the week, staff meetings, and I could go on. There is truth spoken in this place. On the journey with you, I have been encouraged to grow in my faith and to keep my hope in God, trusting that God knows best. Verse 3 of Fanny Crosby's Redeemed goes like this. I think of my blessed Redeemer, I think of Him all the day long. I sing, for I cannot be silent, His love is the theme of my song. As I look around this empty church sanctuary, I see the faces of you all. I see the greetings we had, I see the conversations we've had, and I just see this church in my mind right now as I look around, and I'm thinking of you all. And I want to end with this. Butchel Park, thank you for being a people that loves Jesus, that love each other, and that love to proclaim good news. May God continue to watch over you and give you peace. Amen.